I'm Jason Dieters of D Lampkin Honda Hyundai. Answer this trivia question and you can win this grill. Which rookie running back showed up at his 2013 training camp driving a 2004 Honda Odyssey? Monty Ball, Zach Stacy, Giovanni Bernard, or Eddie Lacy? Email your answer to news at quincyjournal.com. Click to win. We're giving away this grill July 1st at D Lampkin Honda Hyundai. Good morning. I would like to thank all of you for joining us here at Quincy Notre Dame this morning to celebrate another milestone in the story tradition of Quincy Notre Dame Lady Raider basketball. As principal, I'm blessed with a terrific staff of dedicated individuals. No matter what a person's specific role may be, they collectively invest tremendous hours in our young people with the belief that it will pay future dividends. Coach Eric Orn is no exception. Coach Orn has led our Lady Raider basketball program for the last 14 seasons. In that time, he's accumulated 363 wins and just 77 losses for a winning percentage of .825. In the last five seasons, our Lady Raider basketball team has enjoyed unprecedented success in our proud history. They have won 154 games in the last five seasons while only losing nine times. Truly remarkable. In his 14 seasons as head coach, our Lady Raiders won three consecutive state championships in two different classes. In addition, they also won a second, third, and fourth place at state. This historic run was made possible through the dedication of our players, our parents, and our coaching staff. At this time, it is my privilege to call forward Coach Eric Warren to share some important thoughts. Coach Warren. Thank you, Mr. McDowell. Um, today is truly a great day to be a Lady Raider. Uh, it's uh, obviously a, a good moment. I'm excited for Coach Meyer. Um, but it's also hard to believe that 18 years ago, uh, a guy right out of college uh, was given an opportunity by Coach Cannell and put in charge of 22 freshman little girls. Uh, that time it was uh, quite a thing for me to come here to Quincy Notre Dame and, and be given that opportunity to work, work my way up through JV and uh, 14 years ago, be given the opportunity to take over what was already a storied program, rich in tradition. Um, Lady Raider basketball through the 80s won several state titles, had great players. Uh, through a lot of trials and triumphs, um, you know, it, it was well established that uh, I was uh, trying to manage a group of uh, rock stars. And these last seven years, uh, that band took me on quite a, quite a tour uh, from arena to arena. It was certainly a lot of fun, and I certainly enjoyed all that along the way. I certainly want to take time to thank the community administration, starting with Mr. Heilman and Mr. McDowell and Coach Cannell, who were not only there to support me, but uh, to support our teams as well. I certainly want to give out a huge thank you to the QND families. The QND families is what makes this so special. Their dedication, not only in, that they inspire and, and put into their children, makes my job so much easier and uh, I am a very very lucky individual to have an opportunity over the last 14 years to be a part of their lives and to share in that special journey. I also want to take time to uh, thank my wife Tracy for her love and uh, giving me a lot of balance and perspective through these last few years. It wasn't easy uh, but uh, without that I would not be able to be up, stand up here and, and enjoy all the great times I had. In closing, I do uh, truly believe that uh, these Q&Ds uh, teams outdo themselves. They, they show up, they uh, will run through a wall for me, and um, they do work hard. Um, they're special. They're special players, and I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss those practices. I'm going to miss right before tip-off. I'm going to always want them to know that hashtag I'll always be a proud coach. And thank you very much. Thank you, Coach. At this time, it's my privilege to call forward Mr. Bill Cannell, Quincy Notre Dame Athletic Director. First of all, a couple uh, a couple comments on on Eric. You know, I, as as AD, and this is is a, I believe my my 18th. I'm finishing up my 18th year as the athletic director. I've I've been very very blessed. Uh, you know, going. 
going back from, you know, Co- Coach Warren when I met him, you know, I, I transitioned that one season from our basketball coach to the athletic director, and I can still remember, you know, meeting Eric, and uh, at the time, they had hired a freshman coach that had never coached basketball a uh, game of her life, and she was honest with me, and I uh, somehow, the good Lord uh, sent, sent Eric, and we had an opportunity to meet, and uh, had a lot of great, great times together, uh, and I, th- I think my only suggestion to him that year as a coach was, Coach, you got to get all of them in the ball game. So you imagined uh, over 20 girls, and, and he was a man of his word. I mean, somehow, some way, I have no idea how he managed over 20 players, uh, 20 freshmen, but, you know, he, he was able uh, to, to get them in the ball game and make them feel special and make them feel as, again, they were a big part of our girls' basketball program. And, you know, over, over these 18 years, I've been very blessed to have two great men oversee our basketball programs for many years. Coach Scott Douglas, who ended, I believe, his career with 360 wins. And then Coach Oren today that's uh, ended the chapter of, of, of his career of being our head girls basketball coach with 363 wins. So uh, during, during that, I'm very blessed to be able to say that, again, Scott was our all-time winningest boys coach. And obviously, Eric, uh, all-time winningest girls coach coach. Uh, two great men, uh, you know, and when I say that, you know, it, it's, it's, it's not also about wins and losses. It's about, again, having people at, at the top that oversee your program that are great people, that are truly good people, again, that, that are going to make your girls and boys into better people, better human beings, successes in life. And, and you know, that's the one thing I can, can say about Eric is the fact that, you know, a lot of people obviously see the success that we've had on the basketball court, and, and I think that speaks for itself. Uh, but the, 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 the way he has molded our young ladies and, and obviously what he expects of our young ladies on and off the court, and, and many of them are, are here with us today, um, but, you know, what, what he expects out of them and then the way that you're able to see those young ladies Five and ten years later, and the ones that come back here to see him, I know obviously uh, uh, mean, means a lot to our school, to him, and our programs. So as we transition and we go from, from one chapter of QND Raider basketball to take the next, as we flip the page over, uh, because again, Coach talked about the 80s and, and the 90s and where we currently are, so... You know, obviously, again, we're, we're ending this chapter of the book, as Pat Lask would say, and we're going to move on uh, to, to the next chapter. And uh, the next chapter, obviously, uh, we believe, as, as we've made the decisions that we have as the administration of this school and, and, and as the athletic director, uh, as, as we flip over that next page, we, we believe that we're going to put the man in charge that's going to obviously be able to lead these young ladies and continue the success that we've had. And, and as we've done that, I want to kind of give to you just a little bit of a, a thought process of why we're doing what we're doing and why we're doing it the way that we're doing it. We're going to put a man in charge that obviously has 17 years of, of basketball under his belt that he's been, uh, again, a, an assistant coach, a head JV coach, an associate coach, uh, that he's been involved in our boys' program, he's been involved in our girls' program. We believe at the end of the day he's been a very, very big part of our boys' and girls' success here at Quincy Notre Dame High School. So as we, as we, as we transition, we interviewed him last year for our boys' job, and he did an excellent interview. He, you know, and at that time, the, the administration was able to walk out of that room and say, guess what, one day it's going to be his turn. One day he's going to oversee one of our programs here at Quincy Notre Dame High School. So at that point, we, were, we, we felt like when was going to be that time? Well, that time's going to be now, but we knew he was going to be the right man for the job and our guy for the job a guy that we would believe in, an alumni, 
So at the end of the day, the nationwide search is right here. The nationwide search was right beside Coach Orn on the bench. We were able to find the man that we believed that would take our program to the next step. So at this time, obviously, I would like to call up Kevin Meyer, and we're going to name again Kevin Meyer, our new head basketball coach. We'll begin immediately. Uh, if, if not already a few weeks ago behind the scenes, obviously, again, we're, we're very, very excited. We know the girls are very excited. The alumni is excited, but we believe, again, this transition will take our program again to the next level. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Some big shoes to fill. Uh, Coach Orn has been a dear friend, uh, has taught me so much about Lady Raider basketball and, and just friendship in general. So I'm very, very humbled to be standing here selected as the uh, 12th head coach for the Lady Raider program. It's an honor to be a part of a program with over 800 wins, 10 state trophies, six under this young man right back here. Um, he's the John Wooden of this program. And, you know, my job is to uh, not mess that part of it up because I don't know who else remembers uh, who followed Wooden. So that's uh, some big shoes to fill. Very blessed that Coach Orr and the administration have entrusted me with coaching the premier basketball program for girls in the state of Illinois. The players at Quincy Notre Dame are very special young ladies who expect a coach to perform at a high level. I will do my very best to match their efforts each and every night. I'm committed to, the, to keeping the program at performing at an elite level and helping the players achieve their lofty goals. Thank you to Mr. Mark McDowell, Bill Cannell, Coach Orn, and the players at Quincy Notre Dame for this opportunity. Also like to thank my wife Christina, our children Anne Marie, Madison, and Jackson for the support and allowing me to pursue this dream of coaching. I hope you guys are ready for this roller coaster ride. It's going to be fun, but a challenge. Also like to uh, thank my parents who are in attendance today for choosing Catholic education for me and my three brothers or my two brothers when we were younger and uh, giving me the opportunity to attend Quincy Notre Dame. That's a, uh, a pavement that set me off on a, I think on a good course and has prepared me for a lot of things in life, including this coaching position. Lastly, I'd like to thank Coach Douglas, Coach Altmix, Coach Sheffield, Coach Elby, Coach Hoyt, Coach Orn, and Coach Longo. That's not just a list of the best coaches this area has to offer. These are guys that have taught me to love this game, to teach the game, and to continue to learn the game. I'm very excited to accept this challenge. We have an incredible group of players returning, and I look forward to helping you create your legacy. Thank you. Well, as we said uh, just a few short minutes ago, a great day for Quincy Notre Dame, Lady Raider basketball. As uh, Coach Cannell, our AD, has already mentioned, so many positive things that have already taken place within this program, so many great things we believe around the bend. Uh, that's a credit to both Coach Orn and new head coach, Mr. Kevin Meyer. Again, thank you to everybody for being here in support of these gentlemen, their families, our school, uh, ladies. You know the task at hand, and we know that uh, with Coach Meyer, you know, we should expect everything that we've expected up until this point, and we know that they're prepared for that. So, again, thank you to everybody for joining with us this morning. Uh, at this time, the uh, coaches will be available to you, both uh, Mr. Warren and Mr. Meyer, for the media. Thank you.